Hey everybody, my name is Gideon Moore. Welcome back from the video of Last Judgment. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and did a lot of dance, boys. We mostly did uh, some dance club investigation and stuff like that because we figured out where she was finally, the dance club and everything. And now that we know, we are good to go. So uh, now we're actually going to focus today on the uh, actual main quest, you know. The stuff we're supposed to do in the video. We're gonna actually focus on it. I think I'm supposed to go to the second floor. That's where uh, Saira is at or something. So uh, we're gonna head over there and uh, talk to her about the whole investigation. Also, um, I did do some side quests in my own free time. Well, I did one of them. I'm still on, it's still an ongoing investigation as well though. So it is what it is. I don't have enough time to play uh, this game. Hey, Boys, got so many sensor. games to play. Look, I know I can't keep you off campus. I don't have that kind of authority. But would you please stop bothering me? That's kind of awkward. Can you please tell me what happened yesterday. Enough! How many times must I repeat myself? She's not gonna give me the time of the day if I keep pushing like this. Yeah, I guess I'll have to make the do with just checking on and uh, just get checking in on her. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to me. She does not have any, she does not want anything to do with me right now. Look, we'll have to find another way. She's definitely not, like, a good person anymore. I wonder if this picture of Mikoshiba was taken where they found the body. They should this look... Okay, hold on. My dog's doing his thing. This location must be somewhere in Lincho, and if I'm going to stay on this case, I need to look into everything. I need to figure out something hey, else, man. Some, something else than just you talking to a girl. At this point, we need discovered. another clue. Of course. In fact, I can do that pretty quickly. Why? Did you want to go there now? That's the idea. Okay, but do note that it's been a few days since they found him. The police may have already scooped up the evidence. Yeah, but I want to check it out anyway. Then I can decide if it was a waste of time. <laughs> In other words, you've got a detective's intuition? What a superpower to have. Okay, here we go. They found Mikoshiba's body in an abandoned building near Sakura River. It's near a small park. On the second floor of the building, specifically. The first floor is just a bunch of empty boutiques. You're the man, Tsukumo. Thanks. Well, they were right then, boys. But we gotta f go find out where uh, that uh, whole kidnapping or that thing take took place. We gotta go that side. It's showing me where to go, boys. Let's uh, find out real quick. So we're supposed to get out of here, obviously. We're going out of the school. Let me get. Uh, let me out. Let me out. Now, obviously, they told me like for the dance club and stuff. Right in the last video, they told me I could buy some costumes. Uh, for the dance club. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. Uh, I don't remember. Which one did they tell me uh, I could go at? Heroes Harvest is the one I think that I need to go at. I need to go at that one. All the way down there boys. In order to get some costumes. Uh, for the girls. So I think that's what I need to do. But I need today to, to focus on the main quest as well. It's all the way over there. That's a long ways ahead. Let's get out of school then. Let's get out of school and do our thing. A lot of side cases that I gotta do, and even a lot in like in school itself, a lot of side cases that were available to me. I'm just gonna have though to. Um... Oh shit! The fuck was that? Whoa! I'm getting fucking punched after getting ran over by uh, by a goddamn uh, boss. What the hell was that about? All right, let me uh, just get this guy. These guys. There we go. So that's uh, that's done, I guess. The hell was that all about? Getting jumped like that. Ain't that something, boys? Alright, there we go. Keep going and. Woo! Okay, no no no, keep going. There we go, keep going. They can't uh they can't catch you. They're not gonna be able to catch you if you're uh, on your on your skate. Let's go. There we go, we got we got this. Watch out now, watch out. Yo, watch where you're going. Okay, it's right over there, boys. They're still running at me. What the hell? An abandoned building near the Sakura River. This must be where Mikoshiba's body was found. Well, no shit. 
The lock's easy to break, but it's still daytime and there are people around. I should have, uh, see if there's another way in. You mean climb my way in, maybe? Like any other time, really? Suspicious. All right, so we got to examine this. Should I break into this? It's full daytime. It's kind of a bad idea, of course. There's probably a way in, obviously. There we go. That window is closed. Maybe there's an open window somewhere. Uh, nope, not this one. Oh, uh, there it is. That window is closed as well, really. But if I won't work, I'll just have to improvise. All right, so I made my way through. Now we just gotta get on the backside. We're gonna really do a lot of parkour. Pretty easy enough, boys. There's an open window. I can use it to sneak in. I need something to give me a boost uh, if I'm gonna climb up there. Let's see if I can find something. Just like that. All right, so climbing up and we're going just like that. Like last, uh, like last time, really. We keep doing the same thing over. So you can uh, get through these areas by running start. Oh, wall jumping. Okay, whoa, that was pretty bad. I actually messed it up, messed it up, but I still managed to survive, boys, somehow. All right, so we got some quick time events as well for the, uh, the jumps, which is something. Whoa. All right, I got it right there. Was I even pressing? I'm not even pressing the right thing. I'm still getting it done, boys. That's crazy. All right, we're going up. Let's keep climbing, boys. We actually got something right here. Toughness inventory is full, actually, so we don't need that. I need to go up. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got you. All right, so I need to uh, get up right there. And climb up. Climb up. No, no, no. What are you doing? I want you to go up. Okay, dude. All right, dude. What the fuck was that? I need to climb up. That's what I need to do. That was kind of a weird one right there. Not gonna lie. Kind of a weird one, boys. Now I gotta go all the way around again. Let's do it, I guess. There we go. Got you. Right there. Climb again. I'm getting better at this. Definitely getting better. Move, move, move. All right, go. There we go. Got it. All right, now take the goddamn ladder again. Go, go, go. It's climbing the ladder so slow. Oh, I, I don't want to go into the ladder, actually. Never mind. I did the same mistake again. All right, go over there. And now I want you to climb up. That's way too crazy right there. What the hell are we thinking? Okay, now we gotta jump. Yeah, we gotta keep jumping and stuff. And we should make it over there. We can drop and we're in. We are finally in. Hello? Anybody here? Coming through. Doesn't seem, uh, doesn't seem like there's anybody here, so. Now where exactly was the body? There's gotta be some clues that'll give me that. Well, there's the biggest clue over there. A goddamn arrow pointed at a blood stain. There's, there's not much clue, like, it's not a bigger clue than that, boys, obviously. Huh? Are these burn marks? All right, let's focus on that. Examine that burn marks on the floor. It looks like there's a red powder dusting on the surface. Suspicious. Blood stain, the black stain has got to be the blood. So this is where his body was. Obviously. The arrow must indicate the body's location. I guess the killer liked to have everything lined up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. For them to literally tell, like, show something like that. Building matches up the, the photos. So Mika Shiba was alive when he f was brought here. Which means this isn't just where his body was dumped. It's where the murder actually happened. Yeah, it, it, it is. Huh? Someone's coming. The cops just have to come back to the scene now. Hey. Pick up that shit right now. Who's there? State your name and purpose. Uh, well... Get some backup over here. 
Hey, no, wait a second. Can we maybe talk this out? Put your hands up and turn around. Do I have a badge or something? What the fuck, man? I'm a detective. They should know. They should know I'm a detective and stuff. What the fuck am I doing? Takayuki Yagami. Yagami Detective Agency. Why didn't I put up my badge in the first place? Were you the guy at Serio yesterday? I could have sworn I saw your face there. Huh? Maybe. The name's Watanabe. Karagawa PD Division 1. Charming, sure. This fella here is Sakurai. What's up? So, you think barging into a crime scene was a real bright idea? What? I thought you guys were done here. I figured I could take a look around. Uh huh. What? You wouldn't happen to be working with Genda Law, would you? Huh? You hear on Shirosaki Sensei's business? Saori Shirosaki, right? The grouchy one. Okay, how'd you know? Well, it started when Mikoshiba's body turned up. Once our investigation kicked off, we found out about that pervert cop in Tokyo. Seems he knew where the body was buried. But when we went to go see him, HQ pumped the brakes. They said no interviews on this one. Much to our amusement, we ended up being directed to Shirosaki, the perv's lawyer. So these cops met with Sari uh, to learn about the era incident. Interesting. So they know about my colleagues. The law offices in Kamrocho. And you're a Kamrocho detective working your case. That means either the two of you are connected. <laughs> or I'm really losing my We're in touch. some way connected. Well, you've certainly got my number. Now that you know, how about taking these cuffs off? <laughs> Smooth, but the jury's still out on you, pal. First, you got any thoughts on all that? On anything specific? The part about HQ locking us out of interviewing a horror smart guy. Here we are with a material witness who, it turns out, knew about a corpse rotting away for two months. And those Tokyo chuckleheads just shut us out. Tight asses. When you say it's HQ, I'm assuming that's Tokyo PD, maybe? Seems they're stepping out on the local police toes. Any crimes that happen in Lincho fall under uh, Kanawaga PD's jurisdictions, not Tokyo's. Which explains why Wanatabi here might be ticked off. Yeah, it's local business. It's not supposed to be regional. Kind of a weird one. I, I'm, I'm kind of on this side as well. Ahara was Tokyo PD, so wouldn't they want to protect him? They probably want it handled discreetly. Nah, if only it were that simple. This isn't about protection. They get burnt real bad if they tried to bury this shit under the rug. Besides, not only is this cop a nasty creep, he's got ties to a fucking murder. If another prefecture blows the lid on that, the top brass may as well kiss their jobs goodbye. Heads will roll. They've got to wash the shit stains off their laundry to keep their asses clean. Yeah, I could see how that makes sense. Anyway, so HQ told us their boys would look at the Ahara. What we had to do was hand them our notes on the murder. Can you believe that crap? Like hell we're gonna bend over for them. But look where that's got us. Now nobody's interrogated Ahara. Are Kanagawa and Tokyo PD really fighting over who gets the credit? Don't tell me they're that petty. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. While the higher-ups play Intel hoarding games, Ahara is just sitting pretty. Shit. The cops supposed to be chasing down the perps. Instead, here I am with my hands tied, bitching to a PI. So I'm your therapist now. I was gonna take you down to the station and put the squeeze on you. But if you're a half decent detective, maybe we can collaborate. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, you came all the way from Kamurocho to sniff around here, right? I highly doubt you found much. But tell me something I don't know when maybe the cuffs will fall off. You proposing a deal? Depends on if what you've got is worth making one. This is going to be a, such a waste of time though. But I want some info from these cops myself. Yeah, I want to work with them. I mean, we gotta work together. I might be a detective, I might be a private investigator. I can still work with the cops themselves, the public, you know? 
Probably best to collaborate with these guys and give them a little bit more insight. I'll give them the photo. I'll give them the better, the biggest clue I got. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Reveal that evidence. Okay. How about this? What the hell? You know Mikoshima. Was this taken here? Right before he died? Where did you get this? What kind of shit you trying to pull? I could tell you better with the cuffs off. <laughs> Crafter than I thought. Fine. Let him loose. Alright, let me get this straight. Right before you met up with this serial high teacher, a strange woman showed up with this photo. She yeah. did. I don't know. I, I can't. I don't know who yet. she is. So you but might be able to help me out with that. It worked. Sawa sensei wouldn't say a thing after that. Saw was the one who supervised Miko Shiba for his student teaching program. I know that. So this woman you're talking about must have had it in with the culprits. I know they were working in a group. That's quite a revelation. What makes you so sure about that? Sakurai, show him the photo of the body. And spare me the protocol lecture. I'm sick of this going nowhere. If Hotshot here is gonna look into Ahara for us, we may as well take advantage of it. You're the boss, Nabe-san. This had to be two months after his death. Body looks pretty decayed, yeah. Miko Shiba was last seen alive two months ago. October 7th, 6.30 a.m. He was talking to his mother as he exited their house back in the city. Since there were no other sightings of him, it's likely he was abducted a short ways from his home. This had to be done by vehicle, as common sense would tell us. So there must have been at least two suspects, a driver and a handler. And with me, I'd have put three on the job. So that's why you figured it was a group effort. Sounds logical to me. Mm-hmm. Now, according to the autopsy report, they found food in the poor guy's stomach. Based on how digested it was, we can assume he was killed at least an hour after breakfast, putting it around 7.30. And not long after, he was brought here. His throat was slit with a knife. You get all that hot shot? I got it, I got it. So 7.30 a.m., I guess, no earlier than that, he was killed. All right, we got a lot of clues from the cops. That's really good, boys. The old perv was walking through Ike Bukuro's ticket gates around 7.43 a.m. This was stated in court and corroborated by multiple security tapes. But if that's true, he couldn't possibly have killed Mikoshiba. It's 30 kilometers between here and Ike Bukuro. Yeah, that's the meat of his alibi. Yet somehow he knew Mikoshiba's body would be discovered two months after his arrest, despite being in custody the whole time. But there's no doubt he's connected to the killers. If you just put the screws to him, it'd squeal. Damn it, HQ! Why the hell are we out here working the site if it's already been picked clean? All right, Nabe-san. Deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. But do you see why we've got to get someone in to talk to Ahara? Hell, beg Shirosaki-sensei for a visit if you have to. HQ can't say squat about his attorney visiting. Hell of a cop. We, we only just met him. I'm all for uh, bec uh, to becoming his gopher. Basically, yeah. Literally his goddamn uh, therapist or something. He keeps talking to me. Like, good lord. Then again, I guess I do have this. Uh, I do the same thing. Now, I don't. I don't know what own. you're talking about. about. The crime scene and the body. Yeah, ask away then. Now is a chance to get some pertinent facts. I need to ask what evidence the police collected from this scene. Exactly, I need, I need their evidence. Uh, time of death, regarding the cause of death, regarding burn marks, uh, burn marks, and the building owner. Who's the building owner? Doesn't this place have a manager? I'm sure it wasn't always like this. There is a property owner. He's been around Eugene Show forever building's been deserted for two years. Apparently, there was a padlock to keep the homeless out, but it was long gone by the time they found the body. Broken by the killers, most likely. 
Okay, what else? So, no real owner. That's a shame. Regarding the state of the body, regarding the burn marks, the cause of death. The time of death. Let me... Uh, the cause of death. What was the victim's cause of death? The news called it a massive hemorrhage. Yep. They slit his throat and let him bleed to death. After tying him to a chair, the killer stood behind him. And lifting his chin with his left hand, his right hand slit the knife. Sounds like you guys have that bit on lockdown, huh? It's one of the few things we're sure of. Okay, alright. Well, I guess we know for a fact how he died. Uh, what about the burn marks, though? What is that all about? I guess they burned I the building? The burn marks on the floor in the shape of an arrow. What's with that? Somebody lit flares here. The ones that shoot red smoke. It was only a matter of time before the fire department got called, and they're the ones who stumbled on the body. Pretty obvious the culprit sent up a smoke signal to make sure the body got found. They probably had the timing all worked out with Ahara so he could predict the body's discovery for maximum impact. And that's exactly what he did, just as the judge handed down the sentence. What would be the point of that, though? <laughs> For all I know, he just wanted to blow everyone's minds. All right, I doubt that. There's got to be something more to that. Uh, regarding the state of the body, uh, the time of death. How narrow is the window for Mikoshiba's estimated time of death? Based on how digested his breakfast was, he was killed somewhere between 7.30 and noon on the morning of October 7th. Pretty impressed you can narrow it down like that with a two-month-old corpse. Yeah window gets much bigger if we consider the possibility that the killers forced Mikoshiba to eat. At any point after the kidnapping, they could have made him eat a typical Mikoshiba family breakfast. It's possible. All they had to do is make him say what he usually eats. Good. We're on the same page. Now, if we take into account the decomposition of the body, Mikoshiba's estimated time of death actually ranges from 7.30 a.m. on October 7th all the way to the end of that month. So about three weeks. Three weeks? That's a massive gap. Can't we narrow it down further? The body's just too decomposed to do that. But expand the time frame all you want. Ihara was in custody through the whole thing. So he couldn't have done the deed. Right. He spent two months behind bars. Hate to think a different crime got him such a strong alibi. In any case, someone else killed Mikoshiba. We can just get in the same room as him. We know who that is. It's very crazy, boys. Well, obviously the guy, obviously a cop didn't do anything. The cops involved in some way. I don't know why, like how far he's involved or wh in what way, but it's very strange thing case going on right here. It's I don't know what to think about this regarding the murder weapon. Yeah, what is the word? Do you have it? The knife? Has the murder weapon been found? No. There were no weapons at the scene. Real shame. There'd be some decisive evidence. Uh, obviously. So when you said Or isn't there blood, any a, a, a ADN on or something or any blood stain, Pretty anything from a, like the killers? Corner Not at all. stated that the weapon was a sharp knife-like instrument. There's no blood stain, there's nothing, there's no sweat, no nothing in there that anybody saw like or got now uh, uh, ADN or something, boys? I don't know. This guy, uh, like DNA. Where, where's the DNA at? Uh, I don't know, boys. There's got to be something. If they uh, had to forcefully work on somebody, they they had to sweat or something. You know, something. Uh, I don't know, boys. Uh, regarding the state of the body, I guess. The last what thing. What shape was the body in when it was found? Full of maggots and decomposing bad. His hands were zip-tied behind the chair, securing him in place. The cause of death was the throat wound, but before that, they really worked him over. Rough way for the guy to go. Damn. They even broke all his fingers. From both hands. That sounds... painful. Fucked up, right? I'm guessing a professional did this. Could be Yakuza, could be Mafia, pick your pick. We've got some guys checking that angle out, too to make sure there's no stone left unturned. I doubt it's the Mafia because the Mafia is not like... It would be very far away for a Mafia guy to be all the way here uh, in Tokyo, boys. 
or like in Japan. It's kind of it would be weird. A yakuza maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually tied out to yakuza. It might be just a local gang doing their thing. We'll we'll, we'll find out eventually. But I think I'm starting to get the picture. Here. All of this is very that strange. Be questions. Tell me, you detectives out in Kamurocho always this hands on? Sorry, what? I'm saying you guys work quick. We had barely set foot in Serio High, and you already had the run of the place. Hell, you even closed in on that Sawa Sensei and got a meeting with her. I was just lucky to have been there on another case. Is that right? Some people are watching what? us. What's wrong? Somebody's spying on us with binoculars. No shit? Three men, 30s probably. The one with binoculars is wearing a black jacket. My number's on my car. Yagami! We gotta catch one of them. Hey, the cops up. can't do it. I'm gonna have to do it. All right, let's go. Let's catch them up, boys. At least we're working with the cops now. Whoa! There's the thing again, boys. All right, here we go. Watch out now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this, boys. We're gonna run. Whoa, no you don't. You are not gonna start uh, doing this shit to me. Watch out now, watch out, watch out. All right, let's go. We got this. No, you don't. Watch out, okay. Right before you, up top of you, buddy. All right, well, I'm gonna catch you up, buddy. Ain't, you, are, you ain't going nowhere. If you think you're running away, think again. Oh shit, that's that's not a good one. I didn't see that one, boys. Uh, he's not running away from me. All right, we got this. I can't run forever though, so I gotta be careful. Kicking. I don't have time for you to kick that. I could have kicked that into his head and stuff, but don't have time. Let's go. We got it. We got it. We're gonna get this guy. Oh shit! Man, why is there so many people on the goddamn streets right now? The hell? Get out of the way! Uh, over here. Yeah, over here for sure. That's where he's going, anyways. So where? The, why the hell would I go anywhere else? Let's go. Keep jumping. Keep jumping, boys. We almost are on him. Yo, how far is he going? I, I gotta kick that shit. Bitch! There we go. Slow him down like that. Throw some football... Uh, some some uh, football on him. Come on, come on, come on. Clearly, he can't go like... I should have picked up that thing, boys. He's running too far. He's way too quick. I'm not gonna catch him. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch him, boys. How... How much can he run? I, I got him. I got him. I got him. He stopped for a second there. I don't know why he stopped. I mean, I was for a second. I was literally not going to be able to catch him. He kept running for like 30 minutes. Good Lord. That's some endurance right there. Damn, hot shot. You're quick on your feet. Well, let's hear why this fool had eyes on us. He claims he just wanted to see the scene for himself. Yeah. <sighs> It's true. Ask the other two guys with me. They'll be here any minute. So you were here gawking, is that it? <laughs> Better than busting in like you own the place. I thought that was water under the bridge. So who are you? Why'd you run? I ran because I saw a cop jump out a window and charge at me. Are you saying you'd stick around if you saw that? <laughs> he thinks you're a cop. Should we get you a badge and a hat? I'd be honored. Yeah, I'd be honored to have Do that. Have That'd make you? my life a lot easier. Will my license work? Kake san, age 30. What do you do for work? Oh, I'm just a professional pencil pusher. Biotech, planning and management. Are your other two pals biologists too? No, uh, one's an investor and the other's a consultant. We all went to high school together. It says here you have a Tokyo address. What brings you to Yokohama? Oh, well, I'm organizing a class reunion uh, in Chinatown. So I came to scope out the location in advance. This ain't the way to Chinatown, pal. Oh, uh, we thought since we came all the way to Yokohama, we might as well peek at the crime scene. <laughs> Why the fuck would you do that? Good idea, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose. What high school did you all attend? Uh, Kurakawa Academy, a private school in Tokyo. So this is uh, so it's not Cyro High, man. Are these guys seriously not linked to the crime in any way? Maybe not, but 
they're clearly stupid enough hey, to have uh, been there. Here. Only to verify your buddy's identification as well. I suggest you all cooperate. Nabisan! All right, you jokers are free to go. Appreciate you being so civil. Guess that settles it. They're just dumbass rubberneckers. Yeah, they're just dumbasses. I don't know why the hell they would do this, such a break, thing. Huh? Draw you in through chasing them down. I don't mind. My model used to always swing for the fences. Yeah, well, your strikeout was pretty amusing. The guy who goes down swinging is all right in my book. Now that that's settled, give my regards to Shirosaki Sensei. Hope you get some dirt on Ahara soon. Well, that was interesting. I'm starting to get piece uh, piece things together. Good time uh, timing for a chat with Sari, actually. But uh, but for now, I should head back to Yokohama. I think I give uh, Sarah a, a call as well. All right, we got more clues, boys. That was a really uh, eventful night, or uh, a successful day as well, though. We managed to talk and work with the cops. We're actually working with them now, which is fantastic. Let me do a couple of. Uh, I kind of want to uh, punch these guys up, so let me let me do it really quick. Let me punch these guys up. I kind of want to, you know, I wanted to uh, to have some action a little bit right here, boys. Let me uh, just do, do some judo flip. What the fuck was that? This guy did a Superman punch on my ass. Judo flip. Boom. All right, here we go. Easy enough. Just want a little bit of action, boys. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Well, I think this is a good place to end the video, actually, because... Uh, uh, right now, we're at 34 minutes of recording. So I think, yeah, we're, we're at a good place of, to end the video. Uh, next place is Yokohama. So that probably means we're going to enter a new chapter. Uh, probably. Which, uh, if I want to move out or try to do as many stuff as possible. Look at that wheel, though. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, if I want to try and uh, do as many stuff as possible in the meantime, I got to end it right there uh, before uh, going to a new chapter and stuff. So... Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.